with Alien Covenant killing off a much-loved character in Shaw. Many people were looking at the prequel novel as a means to find out what happened between her and David. Seeking some closure to her story and reasoning for her death and mutilation, perhaps. Unfortunately, it seems like those fans will have to wait even longer until they learn what may have happened, as AVP Galaxy, a fantastic website for alien news, has an exclusive from Titan Books, the publishers behind the prequel novel. Being penned by Alan Dean Foster, a veteran for the alien novels, we get this as our synopsis. As the colony ship Covenant prepares for launch, and the final members of the crew are chosen, a series of violent acts reveal a conspiracy to sabotage the launch. Yet the perpetrators remain hidden, behind a veil of secrecy. The threat reaches all the way up to Hideo Yutani, the head of the newly merged Wayland yutani Corporation, when his daughter is kidnapped. Is the conspiracy the product of corporate espionage, or is it something even more sinister? While Captain Jacob Branson and his wife Daniels prepare the ship, Security Chief Dan Lope signs a key member of his team, and together they seek to stop the technologically advanced saboteurs before anyone else is killed, and the ship itself is destroyed in orbit. Although this doesn't rule out the fact that we may get some scenes in the book where there is a focus on David and Shaw, it is seeming less and less likely based off this synopsis. The novel itself will be canon to the film, so it's fascinating that they are giving out information such as the head of the newly merged Wayland yutani Corporation, Hideo Yutani. My initial thoughts on this, as many people are aware by now, Fox have pushed the AVP movies from the timeline and the continuity with the events of Prometheus and now further cementing that with Covenant. If, however, they wanted to come full circle and reconnect everything, they could. Hideo could be the son of the infamous Miss Yutani from AVP Requiem. I highly doubt that's what they will do, and the timeline the way it is, Ms. Yutani cannot be his daughter. It is interesting in the synopsis that they focus on the sinister elements and the technological advanced saboteurs. It'd be a good way to work David back into the story if somehow he was able to get some messages back during this novel, further confirming he was in fact in contact with the company all along and during the events of Covenant. It would be unlikely that the sabotage is David's doing, simply down to the fact that David was pretty much relying on the vessel passing, so he may continue his experiments. However, let's not forget that this could be the work of Shaw, dependent on what range the engineer technology has. All of this though is pure speculation and highly unlikely. However, these were just some initial story ideas I had when I read the synopsis. AVP Galaxy are reporting that they will have an exclusive interview with the man himself, Alan Dean Foster, later this week. So if you want to stay up to date on it all, either check out their website, I'll leave a link down below, or stick with me, Mr. H. But let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Will you be planning on buying this novel at all? If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more in the future. If you think this video is worth it and you want to support the channel, then please head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description box. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.